Hello everyone and welcome to the YouTube channel of Being ACA. This is Dashrata Gupta, ACC affiliate, and we have finally approached the last chapter of the PM revision series. So this is the last chapter in your Kaplan study text, which is chapter number fifteen, performance measurement in not-for-profit organizations. We have come a long way. This is the last chapter. We got it, guys. Just you know, this last video to go through, and this is going to be a very small one. So let's do this and let's finish the PM syllabus. So the first thing that we have in this chapter is about the objectives of the not-for-profit organizations. So what are basically the objectives? What are the characteristics of the objectives that these not-for-profit organizations have? So basically, if we talk about the objectives, since these are not for profit, these are for the purpose of serving the people. So basically, their objectives will usually be non-quantifiable. So if I say that, you know, I'm starting a not-for-profit organization and my objective is to help the poor people. So can I quantify helping poor people? No, right? So there will obviously be some ways to quantify it by saying I would help these many number of people. But again, what sense of help? Like how will I quantify help? So usually the objectives of not-for-profit organizations are not quantifiable. It is very difficult to put those objectives into numbers. Then another characteristics of the objectives that these organizations have is that they have multiple objectives. So probably when it comes to, let's suppose, talk about a hospital. So a hospital is, let's suppose, for not for profit. And, you know, they have the objective of maybe they want to help cancer patients. Maybe they also at the same time want to have, uh, want to help, uh, you know, the diabetes patients. Maybe they also want to help kids with some other sorts of diseases. So basically the objectives which they can also have can be multiple. Usually in a profit making organization, there will be only one objective to make more and more money but when it comes to such nft organizations they can have multiple objectives which can vary and you know achieving them will also require different sorts of steps to be able to achieve those objectives then another objective uh, another characteristic of the objectives which these organizations have is that they are subject to political change subject to political change so again if we continue the example which i'm talking about so let's suppose in a scenario where uh, you know a government has come into power where the government is not doing a lot to help the people uh, you know to help uh, you know those who are sick so in such a situation my objectives will become more uh, inclined towards you know more stronger towards helping those people because the government is not doing a lot so political changes will cause these objectives also to like change or vary in magnitude from time to time then another thing which uh, is a characteristic of the objectives uh, which these organizations have is that they are achievable in different ways. So when we say this, what do we exactly mean by this achievable in different ways? So basically we mean by this that, you know, the objectives which they have so maybe i want to help people so help can take different forms right maybe i get them to help uh, in their education maybe i help them with the medicines that they want maybe i help people by uh, giving them shelter so basically this the the targets which they have the objectives which they set can also be achieved in different ways so again this becomes a difficulty when it comes to uh, you know thinking of ways in which we can help people so because they are achievable in different ways there can be conflicts in how people think they will achieve those objectives so uh, this is something that we talk about the ob how the objectives of nfps look like then another thing uh, that how will you measure the performance of such organizations so performance measurement will usually be uh, performance measurement so for performance measurement, the first way is that you use performance indicators. So use of performance indicators, like, you know, if maybe my objective is to help uh, those people who are suffering with eye problems, so maybe I can see uh, how, uh, how many surgeries have happened at my place 
at my hospital and you know such performance indicators basically try to devise them according to the objectives which we have set and then another thing which is a very useful model is the vfm value for money so over here we check uh the three e's the first e is economy the second e is effectiveness and the third e is efficiency efficiency so how we measure these three is that for economy the for, uh, for economy basically we see the cost of the input so the, if we are able to minimize the cost of the input that means we are economic when it comes to effectiveness effectiveness will basically be measured using the qualitative or the quantitative impact which i have achieved qualitative or quantitative impact which has been achieved and then when it comes to the efficiency efficiency will always talk about the output which came from the input so this will be about the impact and then efficiency will always see how much output came from the input so with this we are finished with the last chapter of the pm syllabus i hope that this entire series has helped you in some way if not a big way perhaps a small way because this has taken a lot of efforts on my part and uh, all of this i've done so that all of those who are appearing for the pm exam get some benefit out of this if you have any queries please feel free to leave a comment down below or even messages on being acc on instagram and if this video or the entire series helped you even a little bit consider commenting and letting me know that uh, you know this has helped you uh, i hope that you are able to revise all of the things which are there in the syllabus and i wish you all the very best for your exam may you all pass with flying colors thank you bye bye